Hi, I uh, wanted to talk to you about the painting I just finished. Uh, it's what it is, it's a painting of a bridge in southern Indiana. If you go to southern Indiana, right along the Ohio River, you'll find the town of Madison. Madison's a historic town that uh, has been there since the early 1800s. It was a famous uh, port town. Uh, a lot of people did a lot of trading. Uh, they'd stop there. Uh, so it was, it was an important town. They used to build, even build boats down there, along there. Uh, it's it's uh, a really nice place to visit. You can go down there and there are many old houses and mansions there that are on the National Historic Register. And it's got a great old main, main street with old shops and towns. It's wonderful to go visit. But I wanted to talk to you about this painting and how I did it. So, let's go ahead and take a look. I want to say that on the uh, eastern part of the town, uh, there is a hill and at the top of the hill is a look hotel. Out, uh, look out the window in the morning and a lot of times you can look right down at the Ohio River and there will be mist and fog raising from the river. So what I have here, uh, you can see the river and there's a bridge here. This bridge goes over to the other side and the other side is Kentucky. And so uh, you look out there, here's this bridge, there's fog coming up off of the river. You can kind of see through the fog, the land on the other side, and you can see the sunlight is shining in this way. So what have I done in this? Well, first of all, uh, you can tell that it's morning because I have the light on the left side of these trees. Of course, it's autumn, and I've used warm colors, yellows and light oranges and so forth on this side. And also, you see the light shining, so it's shining through trees and, and so forth, uh, so that you the can bridge see it goes over to Kentucky. One of the things I've done is I've done the bridge very light and with lots of white because what's happening is uh, the, the bridge is somewhat obscured by the mist. Uh, the, the fog and the mist comes up quite a bit here, so I just painted this all white in here, which gives the feeling that I had that everything over here is obscured. This, all this over here is land. You've got hills over here on the Kentucky side. This over here is somewhat obscured because you still have the mist. You have fall trees and so forth, but it's still light. So I've used a lot of white in here, but then just kind of come in here and put little hints of the colors of the fall trees, like in, uh, reds, oranges, and so forth in here. I have roofs of home have buildings right here and here that show up the light shining on them using the uh, lighter cool colors in here i have cars here you know uh, when you do a painting uh, you, you what you want to do is paint what you actually see not what you know you see and as i'm looking down in here i just see little shapes so i have little hoods and so forth of cars so I just do a little white line here and just little shadows here. I have a couple of vehicles coming down over the road and all I've really done with them is made little lines of dark here with some light on top that shows that that's, the, uh, that's a vehicle coming over. And so it's just pretty simple. So I've looked for shapes of colors. I've got shadow this is basically a big shape in here so i do that fairly dark then on the edges the light comes down and hits the colors of the trees and so i use my yellows oranges and so forth that show the light on this on this side of the trees and of course you can see i have a little gas station here and i haven't put a lot of detail in there but you can tell it's there now I wanted to uh, tell you that a lot of times when you paint, if you're painting a scene like this, you just kind of squint your eyes and, and put in there 
the little shapes and so forth that what you see and then it's going to come together. I, I want to demonstrate something to you. Now right now as you're looking at this picture it all kind of comes together. But if you come up close to kind of see what it looks like, you just basic see the, basically see these globs. I'm going to show you what that looks like. Okay, you're looking at some of the trees right here. See, it's just paint globs. Come over to here, just more globs. Here's a little sign. I have the cars that are there parked, and it's just shapes. You see those are just lines of the paint with a little shadow. We'll come back over here. Here's my gas station. Can you see how simple that is? And so basically all you're seeing is just little globs of paint. Let's come back up here to the bridge. See how that's done? Come back over here. Here's the hill up above that I've put a little bit of color in so you can see the trees shining through the fog. And come back down. See it's just little spots of paint. I just paint sort of what I see when I squint my eyes. Kind of looks like that now. But then, as I back out, it all comes together. So, I hope you've enjoyed seeing my latest painting. This painting is going to be in a show in uh, Madison starting in March. Going for a month, it's going to be on display at Joey G's in Madison. Take a look at my website at www.tomslack.com. You'll have more information as to when the show is. I'll have this and other paintings uh, depicting scenes from Madison, Indiana. Thanks for watching.